Okay. So, hopefully I'm still recording. Again, um... Huh! alt having a gold source game. Dangerous! Was that a door we peeked through? It was so fucking dark I couldn't tell. Oh. Hammer time, I guess. Half-Life monster. What the hell? Who was he? Wait, if I picked up a hammer, why did I fight him with a knife? God, I gave a shit performance in that fight too. You should see the pros of this yeah. game, it's a bit scary. No signal. This is the real horror. They don't lose any ground, they just constantly like Stab, dodge, stab, dodge, and it just it just works for them. Where's where's the guy we just murdered? I guess syringes for recovering health. We don't quite need it right now. This was also it had to be animated because normally in Half Life you just slide up and down ladders. Head. You know, just giving him the RE vibe check, you know. I actually thought my health was getting low there, but it was actually my stamina. So yeah, you can dodge in any direction except... Oh no, you can dodge forward. Um, the problem is it eats away your stamina. That is jumping, and of course sprinting. Oh, fuck off with you. Fastest blade in the west of Sweden. <laughs> I don't know anything about the, the geology of Sweden, so... Or the topography. Could be the west of Sweden, could be north of Sweden. I don't know. I don't care for the purposes of this Let's Play. I'm just trying to be goofy. Stakes are what's making this unpredictable. I still don't actually need the syringe. Do they have to hand sh shadow that? Probably. I don't know, Gold Source was a bit rough. I mean, what do you expect? It was like one of the early. Ow, dickhead. What, what is with your, like, duck and stab, man? You seriously trying to, like, Mortal Kombat uppercut me with a hammer? I don't think that's how that works. Is that Coca-Coca? That, that is Coca-Coca. Gotta avoid, gotta avoid the copyright. So yeah, it's not Coca-Cola, it's Coca-Coca. That doesn't move, apparently. Oh, hey there. Ow. I cut back and off there. Ow! Well, at least the glowy eyes give you some sense of where they are, even if you're in utter blackness. So yeah, if I holster the phone with the light on, I get a little cone of light coming out of my pocket. Really helpful, in a pinch. Okay. Yeah, we got some, like, ambient sound just to make things creepier. It doesn't really work on me. I never did. 
Please help, they're coming, I'm inside the apartments, hurry. Okay, I don't understand Simon's reason for, like, going to investigate this. I understand that, like, they were supposed to be NPCs, but that just became a thing that couldn't be done. But, but, my point here is that Simon is, like, trying to get the hell out of here. People are attacking him, they appear, like, sick or crazy or something. Why in the hell would he go and, like, pull a, a hero and try to save somebody in the apartments? Why would that even be a thing he would do? I mean, we've established it's even it's either 11 or 12, like, in the evening. He's His mother's worried about him, he's trying to get home, and now we're going in the apartments to... to save somebody, question mark? Like, what the fuck? I've been in shittier apartments. And I don't mean in games, I mean I've... I've never lived in shittier apartments, but I have been in places with apartments that are more, you know, shitty than this. Uh, help the first on the fourth floor. Yeah. Three little kitties playing in the park. For the first kitty, let's go home before it gets dark. The first two went their merry way home. The third stayed playing all alone. I'm here, little child, come to me. Bushes whispered softly. They say curiosity killed the cat. So yes, that's supposed to be creepy. Somebody moving in? All this shit in the way? Elevator's not working. Door's not working. That, that's not even really a door. This door opens. I'm gonna have to pop one of those syringes soon. I'm below 50% health. If I have a particularly rough engagement, we're gonna have problems. Although, now I can save my game. Although, if you're playing on the higher difficulties, um, <laughs> yeah, you get a limited number of saves. It's like the, uh, the ink ribbons from Resident Evil. So you can't just do what I'm doing and just save all the time, which means that if you fuck things up, you lose potentially hours of progress. But I play games to have fun. Not make myself suffer. Oh. Ah. Yeah, it's syringe time. Looks like morphine struck. How can you tell it's morphine? You know what morphine looks like in a syringe? It looks like water. For all we know, that's all we're dosing ourselves with is murky water. It's just the placebo effect that keeps Simon going. That body just vanished. Okay, cool. So, we got a bunch of trash bags that are about children's size and a monster child that was in a trash bag. Encouraging. Lead somewhere. Ah, oh, yes. So we were on the third floor, but we're supposed to go to the fourth floor. But I want to explore the third floor more because I've played video games before, and there's usually stuff that you won't find unless you explore. Head out in the hallway, all the doors are just locked. Probably. What do we got? That one's not locked. Probably more murder kids in it, though. Anything of use in here? Syringe? Something? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to... I don't like it when double tap and dodge, because you're trying to make, like, little adjustments from your character's base movement speed, you end up dodging. Completely unintentionally, because you double tap, and that's not what you were trying to do. Fourth floor! Exclamation marks. Yeah, again, I don't understand why we're playing, you know, um, Swedish Unbreakable, yeah? Fine, we'll do what the game wants, we'll go to the fourth floor. Do we even go fifth, or is there just, like, some huge obstruction? Nope, there's a syringe. That's locked, though. That's why we explore. For drugs. Okay, okay that's encouraging. Door won't budge, so we can't get to the fourth floor from that way, so I guess we're going down. Apparently. 
only to the second floor, because we can't go. That's the usual Half-Life bu half bullshit, where you're very specifically herded in one direction and you can't go anywhere else. So we got a busted elevator. Hey, shithead. <laughs> Than the big ones, the big ones with the hammers. Be extra attentive with you. God damn it! It runs down all my stamina just dodging those bastards. Get stamina back faster if you crouch. It's a nice little addition. God, it takes ages though. You also get a stamina boost if you take the drugs. I was gonna keep saying in that exaggerate. You take the drugs and you get your stamina back. Looks like it's locked from the other side. Door won't. Oh god, again. Door's locked. This one isn't. The feck. Tasted bad. Though we have some, some aspersions here that somebody's been doing some child murder. And we don't approve of that. Probably dead kids in these bags for all we know. <laughs> ah, god, one of the damn spiky and things. <sighs> Great, more creepy notes. These little kitties are so cute. They look so lovely, I just went, ugh. But then parents come, that's why I have to kill them. Yeah, well, if there was any doubt before what was going on here. Like, the notes are spread throughout the apartment complex. I don't understand exactly how anybody's supposed to have not noticed, you know, the... Had shoulders. Um, okay. Uh, it's obviously what they were going for there. Fructi- why is one of them backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Why is one backward? Was it so you could identify it if you saw it in a mirror? Right? Some of the light switches work, others don't. A key item. I don't have a key item, game. That is not a thing I've been given. There was a key in that room, wasn't there? Because for all that, all that, like, pomp and deference and ceremony and bullshit, there had to be a key in here, right? Yeah, it's got it's got a slight glow. I mean, yeah, weirdly you find key items easier with your flashlight off because they they actually glow. Thing is, like key items don't have like a separate because you'll notice in a lot of um like survival horror type things that your key items don't take up inventory space usually, so that way you don't have to drop useful stuff. All door. What the hell is that? No, not the music. The music is there to make you scared. No, what is this thing? Computer? Radio? Die! Back into a corner, fucking die! God. Your eyes look like boiled eggs. I oh, know it's just on, apparently. Okay. Oh. And he comes up on the bed because the developers are sadists, apparently. Kill him quickly. And then more drugs. This is why I didn't do this on hard mode. 
So yes, um, could I have backed off? Like, why didn't it? Oh, because I had gone, like, to the left a little bit. I couldn't just go back out to the... But yes, this bed, which is, like, knee-high, is impassable. Cannot... Cannot jump on the bed. I hear a squishy. Hey, murder baby! Yep, nope. Just keep looking that way, keep looking that way. Okay. Ow. Huh. I didn't know Kool-Aid Man was a ninja. Blows through a wall and just <laughs> and then just vanishes. Ah Yes, Simon, I know there's something in the ceiling. It's quite obviously a gun. Right, it smells bad. Well, and it's probably been up there a while. Yeah, okay, um, if you find, like, a weapon hanging from a dead hand, pointing down like that, empty the fucking thing out before you grab it, because if that hand has, like, rigor mortis on the gun, you're gonna try pulling it, and that trigger finger is gonna be just stuck on that fucking trigger, and it's gonna fucking blow your brains out, probably. Because I know guns, and I know corpses. For different reasons. Uh, I unlocked that door. Where does this lead? Nowhere! Good to know. Okay, so, gun mechanics in this game. There is an ADS. It's not useful, I don't think. Like, your accuracy from, quote, from the hip is just the same as when you do this. Like, you can see I got a reticle there. It widens when I move, and then it constricts. If I'm dual wielding, it's never quite, like, this good. Case in point, I need to actually set this as a dual wield item. So where we'll pull out the syringes as needed. Actually, no, that's stupid. Because you have to hit both inventory items at the same time to make the thing um so it's better to have the light source in the middle so that you can access it easily. You don't have to go jumping between keys. You'll notice that, yeah, I got a much wider reticle if I'm dual wielding than if I just single wield the gun. Problem is, with enemies going all little, little, little with their heads, you know, the whole fucking Jacob's Ladder thing, you ain't making headshots, even though they deal so much more damage. And besides which, you're gonna need that fucking light source, so you might as well just stick with the goddamn dual wield. Besides which, we're not in a position where we actually need gun. We still have a syringe, and the enemies are still on the weaker end of things, so we're sticking with the knife for the moment. You got the key. Did I pick that up? Hall key. Okay. Is it for the fourth floor? Evidently not. Well, okay then. Fifth floor? No, well, okay, so you have a distinction of, like, lock and won't budge. If it won't budge, it means that you ain't getting in. Like, period. It's not happening. If it's locked, you can potentially unlock it with a key. So if it says door won't budge, that means you, you're just not getting through it. Period. It ain't happening. Hallway. Just came from here. That's clearly not the way. Oh, because I think we checked this out too. Yeah, this has got the, the murder room. Or the, the orgy of evidence that somebody's been murdering somebody. Okay, well, I think we found... Dodge the first one, but that second one. Yes, these are our babies whose heads explode in spikes. I'm reminded of... Oh, God, what was that enemy from Parasite Eve 2? The fucking... The, like, mosquito baby things that explode. Um... Okay, I know that the general enemy type was called Sucklers. 
The general enemy type is called Sucklers. I don't remember what the exploding ones were, though. Now as I need to kill some kitties, I stuck the elevator in the hall, so only the personnel can access it by secret code. I guess no kitty will find that out. So they will just have to take the stairs. I feel like this is a Silent Hill The Room reference. I never played the game, I played the demo for the game. It's suitably creepy. Silent Hill's actually good with atmosphere. Um, so well, what is this then? Third floor? Fourth floor? What is it? Or will budge? Well, okay, where the... Ah, oh, god. Yeah. Is your pathfinding fucking up a little bit? Spiral staircase a bit too much for you? Come on, get into an open area. Yeah? Okay. Stop backing into the fucking corner, you old shit. Eat those things. Gotta deal with the big ones, they're a bit slower. You can actually man you can actually dodge them effectively. A light switch. There won't budge. Okay, so this is the fourth floor. This is where we're supposed to be doing things. Um, that That's clearly some reused model work on the grounds that there's no stairs beating up, and yet the underneath is modeled after stairs, because the rest of it had to be, because there were actually stairs next to it. So, yeah, that makes sense. 